Race walking is a technical discipline. An understanding of the correct technique is essential for learning an action that both complies with Rule 230 and enables the walker to reach a high level of performance. The action of the race walker can be divided into two parts, the main movements and the supporting movements. The main movements, those of the lower body, propel the walker forward. position we can measure the length of the stride from the heel of the front foot to the toe of the rear foot. The duration of the double support phase depends on the speed of the walker but it is very short only a few milliseconds. By drawing an imagined for the most economical movement, it should be inclined slightly forward when the back leg is pushing, and it should be vertical during the single support phase. <laughs> Lo que pasa, eh, Dominique, es que nos acostumbró al primer lugar, ya, pero se nos acostumbró al primer lugar. Pero...